Attacks not have names. I feel like I never see the name at the top of the screen. Either that or I never pay attention. That was a fairly straightforward turn. I think I will just. Could just re retreat some of my people to the base panel. Actually, the one trick you can do for anyone who's played this guy, they probably already know, you can retreat people to the base panel, pretty much regain your full movement. It's like you haven't even used them yet. Which, of course, you can't move them in after you've attacked, so it's not complete abuse. But, for example, I can just run Fuka all the way up here. And then run her all the way up here. Although, with Fuka's special, she doesn't even need to get that close. I'm more tempted to run Fuka out here and throw this beast tamer back so my others can get in on the action. Oh, I can actually walk up here. My mages rain rain hell from above or something. It's kind of a roundabout way to go. Prefer to have everyone stick together. Guess I might as well just get the healing out of the way now. Heal this pretty. Can't tell if it's the Prinny who's asleep. Oh, I guess it's both the Prinny and my thief who are snoozing. Ooh. Thinking how I want to kill this treasure chest. So I guess I could use a Prinny for that. Or I could get it later. I'm not sure how soon treasure chests disappear. Ready, dude. 200 XP, nice. I guess that goes to everyone on the team, not really sure. So just slowly move my mages in this turn, there's not a lot they can do here. And we will just try to lure this beast tamer in here. I boosted this skill twice, so it's pretty good right now. In fact, apparently it's almost good enough to finish off this beast tamer. Time to bust some balls. Uh, I should have learned Blade Rush with my warrior. I don't know why I haven't yet, actually. Otherwise, he could actually do something. Sardine Thief. Still not very useful. She is weak to this mage, but I mean, this mage is oh, level 4, not bad actually. I'd be very surprised if she could do 63 damage to level 18. Even though things are in her favor. So I'm gonna move Sardine Thief out here. Um, just in hopes that Sardine Thief takes aggro. Or, well, she's defending, because she isn't very strong. My fear is if Fuka counterattacks, she'll get the killing blow on this Beast Tamer. And if I could, I'd rather have one of my mages, one of my low-level mages, get the killing blow. It looks like everyone's going to move in now. Oh, and they're going to just team up on poor little Prinny. Which wasn't very nice at all. Excuse me, so... Yeah, I'd really like to get my blue mage to be able to finish this... this... Eleanor off here. The first step is to reduce its health. I don't think Cat Kick Teaser is gonna be able to finish this thing. Did a... did a good job here getting its 
health down. Now I just have to remove someone from the map. The question is, who? And these guys are, they're weak to fire and strong against wind, so... I guess it makes sense to get rid of my, my wind mage. Even though she is lower level and I'd like to train her. So I guess to... Trying to think how to get her back in the base panel. I need to get someone in the base panel so I can pull out my other mage. Um, this Prinny is still sleeping on the job. And he can actually attack from right there. Yeah, I'm not sure the best way to do this is. Perhaps moving Fenric out first, out of this position, Just maybe sending him in for a direct attack, I don't know. Or having my green mage move, move right here, Let's see. He can fire from here, and then maybe I'll have my healer do the throwing of uh, Nay back into the space panel. And I'll have my Rika. Rika the blue mage, she will come out. She should be pretty safe in this position. Although she could probably get countered here if she failed. Oh, only 27%. That's pretty low, actually. I wonder if magic works with a higher percent uh, accuracy from behind. It might. Why do you only have part of your health? Oh, because she's probably gaining experience from this battle, since she's in the plus 10 experience area. Did I move my cat? I didn't. The question is where do I want to move it? Anywhere, I suppose. Or maybe to this side, have it take some damage for me. We'll see if just from the side the percentage is higher. It is, it's a lot higher. That, that makes me very tempted to have a character throw my blue mage um, behind Eleanor. The question is, who do I want to waste doing that? I don't really have a lot of options. I basically have to use... Well, to simplify, I'm gonna just go ahead and take him out of the equation right now. So, I don't have to worry about what I can potentially do with those two characters anymore. And maybe I'll do the same thing with Fenric and Val, actually. Fenric and Fuka? Actually, Fuka... Her bomb bat stick is a fire type move. And if she were standing where Val is, you know what, Val's already a pretty high level, so I think I'll have Val. Um I think I'll have him throw Rika. Hopefully I get an even higher chance of back attack from behind. And I do. Although, my damage was ridiculously low. I guess that should be expected for a level 4. I was hoping with the low resistance and the weakness to ice I could do 20-some damage, but not quite. Now I'm obligated to finish this character off. Or else... Target height problem. We've got a baseball bat and uh... Um, I don't understand when characters can attack downwards. It seems always seems odd to me. I'm guessing this will kill this guy. You can't me. I pretty much would have killed two of them in one hit. This is a mana area. To use this map to maximum effect, I should probably be like having my mages do their killing blows from down here. Might as well get some XP 50%, huh? Oh, I could even 
I have my warrior. Oh, I guess I could have Nade do the work too. The question is, do I want Nade to get more experience or more mana? Strong to wind, but that shouldn't save her. I'll go for more mana. Whoa, what did I do there? Oh, I bumped R2. Kind of a low chance, but... Although I suppose I'm opening Nay up to a dangerous position being down there. Not sure if that's a risk I want to take or not. This guy's pretty much all physical. He would probably rape poor Nay. So, as much as I'd rather go for mana, I feel a little safer up here. I think that's everyone. Sadly, I have two sleeping characters. Not really helping. And I lose my new magician anyway. Sardine Thief did exactly what I wanted her to. Just take damage. You are weak too. I don't know, but you also have low resistance. So who do I want to go for first? Well, let's take care of the simple ones. What do we have? These guys are weak to fire again. Oh, I'd like to get this guy down to the mana area. Fortunately, my thief woke up, so... She can at least fulfill the role of throwing. Hopefully, well, let's see. I don't know what the... I might get a, tar a target height problem. So these guys are on 37. 1, 2, 3, 4. Might even be too far away from my fire. What's the range? Up 48. So there's a pretty good distance. I can't see the range. I'm not sure where to look. 1, 2, 3, 4. So he should be able to he should be able to use fire from down here. I throw him to right here. I think. It's up 48. And this is a difference of 15. And range, he's within the range of 4, so I can get him plus 50 mana. To do that, I think all I have to do is move him here, and then have my thief throw him to here. Hopefully. So I get a work. Now, who do I want to take out next? Probably this gargoyle. This gargoyle is not exactly a threat. He kind of took a semi-retarded way to get to my party. And I'd like to have my wind mage again finish this guy off. It'd be great if she could get down onto this mana. I'd have to have someone throw her. I'm not too worried about this guy actually. No bummer. Levels Fuka, 16. I'll just have Fuka throw in some damage first. Um, yeah, I guess she has to be on the mana plus 50. She doesn't have to be. She can also be on the no extra damage spot, but I don't see any reason for that, really. Might as well not move her too far away. So these guys are fairly durable, it seems. I guess that was... I was going up against their physical defense. So Val is pretty much a powerhouse right now, so he could probably actually finish that. Finish this guy off. I'm 
damage. I want to take a fair chunk out of his health. I basically want to kill this guy this turn. I'll get rid of Prinny. Pull Fenric out. Well, a level is Fenric. He'll probably finish this guy off on accident. But I just might have to deal with that. I suppose I could try my warrior too. It's my warrior's attack. 183. This guy has pretty high pretty high defense, so there's a chance he'll live through it. Although I suppose not if I attack three times in a row. I should pretty much expect that every time I'm using Fenrir. Don't really need to heal this turn. So, I'll try to have... I'll give Watkins the opportunity to finish this little... this little mage off. Since he was unable to, I will... I suppose there's no intelligent reason to move off of the experience panel. My green mage is pretty much caught up now in terms of level. One enemy left. Pretty much farm this guy however I'd like. Is she paralyzed? Well, she can just continue defending then. Guess I didn't use Val this turn, but no matter. Might as well throw down a heal. Or a shield maybe. Doesn't really matter. I'd like to lure this guy down into the mana area. And my cat isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's kinda hard to I guess I can use two actions to throw it. I just don't want this cat to be a distraction for the gargoyle. But maybe I shouldn't care. So my plan, I think, is I'm just gonna keep Fenric down here, and I'm just gonna have Fenric's basically gonna be the bait for this gargoyle, and I guess Sardine Thief is gonna be the bait first. But I'll just lure him down to the mana area, mostly kill him, and hopefully finish him off with the mage. And Sardine Thief is fortunately unparalyzed now. Here I come. There. Let's just give Fenric a little bit better chance of surviving Here his one-on-one -on -one duel with the gargoyle. I guess it, it's not exactly smart to set myself up for back attack. Also doesn't seem like it matters too much. So I probably can't finish this guy off in one turn with wind. Um, if I have a character who can slightly weaken him first, that would probably be helpful. Watkins isn't too strong, and this guy's defense is crazy. So I'd be curious to see what a pretty bomb was capable of doing. Highly doubt it could kill him. And always the target height problems. Could even give my thief a small opportunity to pick him off. I don't think she's not gonna kill him in a million years. We let Sardine Thief contribute. Time to bust some balls. I'll give my warrior a small crack at it. 
close if he can counter. Nope. Too bad, even my blue mage probably could have finished this off. Well, maybe not. His resistance is pretty good, but in any case, my laughing green mage will take him out. So that wasn't that wasn't too hard of a level really. It's probably set up to be a grind level. A shaman is now available. Pardon me, Mr. President. Here's the president. Has the rebellion in Hades been put down? No, actually. What now? Speak up. Yes, sir. We have received a letter from the rebel force. <sighs> As you can see, it's written with words that I couldn't possibly say out loud. I'd like to obtain your official sanction to... Eliminate them. They must all be wiped from existence. Uh, are you certain of this? Are you going to make me repeat myself? Uh, understood. Your words shall be carried out to the rest of the Netherworld. <sighs> oh, sighing so deeply. You're more depressed than usual. This guy sounds oh, honest. It's you. Hey, you don't have to look so upset. We're supposed to support each other, right? What are you doing here today? Remember our conversation. I came to get that thing, as promised. It is ready to go. It's all yours. <laughs> Thanks. If you insist. Just a thanks, I was expecting an excellent. <laughs>